Oh, good morning. If anyone has HD, don't look at my chin whispers. I, I look pretty good right now on my tiny little phone screen. Yeah, I still got some black nice tinted lip balm. But I probably don't look that good on a big HD screen. Okay. Hang on just a second. Can't find actual news. Ah. I got you, David Schweikert. I can't wrap my head around the Democrats. But I'll tell you what happened. See a whole bunch of people who are like mad at the patriarchy, right? Yeah, white men suck. Oh, um, hang on just a second. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> so then there's like. White men suck. Yes, yes. All right. So, people being people infallible, um, you know, make mistakes. But just exactly right now, a good, healthy lot of the ways, reasons why the world is the way it is when other people, not white men, but when other people are not white men, are figuring out like you know something bad happens you know, why did this happen to me anyway so the answer for so many not white men is some white man so you guys just because you've been in control of so much stuff are responsible therefore for everything bad that's ever happened in anyone's life you know with great power comes great responsibility anyway <clears throat> so basically everyone who's not a white man and then probably at least half of the white men who want to be like agreeable and uh, empathize with people so they going along with the not white men on this one for a little while you know just there's always some there's always some back and forthers that like question their tribes logic and go you know like um, I worked at this bar, which was patroned by mostly um, retired white people over 60. And every once in a while, there was this, like, there was, there was this one black guy and his middle-aged black guy and his 25-year-old son that would come hang out with all those old white people and whatever racistness it might have popped, they just let it roll off them and they didn't care or they're getting something out of it. There was another older um, black man who would come in on karaoke nights and just didn't, he just wanted to sing karaoke. Like, it, he's getting stuff out of it besides the what I, whatever he was getting out of it, some kind of like mental survey, I'm assuming that's what I do. Um, in situations I don't like, let's turn this into a learning opportunity, right? But anyway, um, patriarchy is bad. Right. And so not knowing about the reaping 
and usually then also like so uh, God can Jesus can help you deal with things and find like perspective in your mind etc um, and usually not being Christian and not thinking about the reaping which and to be fair, Christians, you guys came up with left behind, which was not it. So the, there's like, okay, there's some, so here we have a situation called police brutality against too many black people. Okay. Is the country horribly racist? Kind of yes and no. Actually, the specific thing that happened is a bunch of slave traders who wanted money and a bunch of completely uh, ruthless, they, they have like uncontrolled hearts. They're still selfish like babies, even though they're grownups. People who wanted to make money off of slavery came up with all this bullshit about black people being closer to the apes especially after Darwin, which is like a couple of hundred years into slavery, I think. But anyway, um, they came up with all of this propaganda to get all of the other people who were horrified by slavery to go along with slavery. So... So yeah, it's like all this bad stuff like happened, right? And um, I think I, did I talk about this? The labor pains, I think I talked about. Um, we still got to flowing milk and honey. So like now we just have to get rid of the bad stuff. So you just cut it all down and we'll separate out the good from the bad. If you recall... I said quite loudly, we're not defunding the police. Okay. So, racism is bad. Black people were always the same. And whatever cultural differences that there are now are the result of them not being allowed to make money for like 400 years and also being isolated from the rest of society where their language evolved on a, another separate divergent path that was not influenced by us because we did not take, we, we actively declined to take part in that. So whatever you want to say about it now is too late. That was, that was our fault, white people kind of our fault by not paying attention to them and not actually teaching them what they need to be at our level. Why would, why would we not do that? Why would we want to suffer particular of our citizens to be living at substandard levels that, okay. Anyway, it all made sense at the time. Doesn't it always? Anyway, so we got to separate the good from the bad. But, you know, just exactly right now, nobody knows that except for me. And nobody want to listen to me. And everybody pretends like I'm not here. An alternative to vigilante justice and police presence, keeping order on the street so people can go about their business. Is it a perfect system? No. Is it better than what happens if it's not there? Oh, yes. Yes, it is. Is it going to get better? It can. 
Nobody's stopping it but ourselves. Okay. But so on the left, uh, they, they figured out everything that's wrong with conservatism and specifically a religious Judeo-Christian upbringing and path to enlightenment. But they didn't see any of the good. So they, in their minds, have chunked it all out. And there's nothing there that's solid enough to form a cohesive philosophy. That's why they're all, they don't really have any, Biden's not campaigning and neither really is anyone else. <laughs> they're having their identity crisis. Now, Republicans, y'all kind of had yours and then they had one and y'all had another one. And now they're having an, kind of another one. And, uh, yeah. I've been heavily involved, I think, in a lot of these uh, conversations and a lot of people, especially men, Donald Trump, like not wanting to listen to me or else then we have uh, people pretending to listen to me and making it bad on purpose, like. Why did suddenly I say, why is suddenly I say it's so, you know, like, it's okay to be transgender. We have sociological evidence of transgender people having existed throughout civilized history. And suddenly that change, somehow, somehow or another that changes the medical procedures involved in getting someone approved for surgery and body altering chemical injections. Suddenly, now all of a sudden, not just why, why did that? Why did me saying that mean that everybody gets all the drugs and boob dropping they want? That I, I I don't understand how that happened. But when you know at the time, like you had to you had to jump through extensive hurdles before you could ever get an injection. And you had to be monitored by your therapist or psychiatrist for any kind of distress or that's, but I think like somebody did that on purpose just to like somebody got some doctors to do that. Like someone very persuasive and silver tongued like the devil. then you guys can blame me for everything that's gone wrong. Anyway. But that's the answer to your question, Mr. Schweikert. They threw out the good along with the bad, but they don't, they think they're being good, but uh, I, I don't know. If it's, apparently they went to call. This is not actually in the history books, although it did take place. People figuring out, like, a lot of times, being nice is not actually being nice. So, we, we had to have police.